We knew that they were blue and likely made of gas. And by the mid 1900s, the very best telescopes we had allowed us to even see an occasional cloud or two. But that's about all. So we were excited to see what they look like up close in detail. The Voyager 2 spacecraft sent back the first ever close-up image of Uranus in 1986. Are you ready? Weirdly, Uranus still just looked like a blue disk. It's kind of pretty, actually. But when we use special filters to look at Uranus, suddenly details of its clouds could be seen. What's very unusual about Uranus is the tilt of its spin or rotation, its axis. Uranus spins or rotates around itself, just like the Earth and other planets do. But Uranus does this on its side. Its north pole doesn't point anywhere near Polaris or up above the solar system. Instead, it points off sideways to the solar system. All the other planets' poles point up and down. But not Uranus. This makes scientists wonder if at some point in its history, maybe something slammed into Uranus and knocked it over on its side like this. Neptune, the farthest planet from the sun, was for this reason also the last to have a spacecraft sent to it. It takes almost 10 years for any spacecraft to get to Neptune. Neptune's color appears to be much deeper blue than Uranus. And unlike Uranus, when we sent a spacecraft to get close-up photos, we saw lots of cloud features, including this, a dark blue colored hurricane we discovered. This was creatively named by scientists, the Great Dark Spot. So we've flown robotic cameras past all the planets and put landers on two of them, Mars and Venus, which are the planets scientists now know the most about. We've even remote control landed something on one of Saturn's moons, 10 times farther away from the sun than we are, the farthest away we've ever landed something on. No human being has ever been to another planet yet, but this will happen within your lifetime. There are people right now working on sending the first colony to Mars. One of the companies considered most likely to succeed is SpaceX, headed by this man, Elon Musk. The first trip is scheduled for about 11 years from now. Maybe someone you know will be on that flight. Our knowledge of the planets is only just beginning. We have so much to learn. But as Mars soon becomes our second home, it will be the planet we become total experts on next.